Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Jennifer. Thanks for joining me. I have a custom order junk journal I wanted to share um, with everybody today. It is a massive um, Alice in Wonderland themed junk journal. Um, on the cover here, I've got this bangle charm clipped on. It is kind of heavy, so it's removable. Um, I've got a little vial here. It says, drink me. It's filled of um, those blue Savoy Sea crystals. And then I've got those teacups and a key on the uh, clip there. Put that over there. And then uh, the topper here, it's, and I don't have a cut, it's ink. My finger's not cut. I have ink all over my hands, so excuse my hands. But um, the cover here, um, I've got it layered with vintage doily, cheesecloth, scrapbook paper, book paper, you know, this great image of Alice, um, some flowers, and the Tim Holtz imagination quote, and the key, the um, keyhole. It's a fabric cover. It's really thick. Um, I've got it layered with interfacing inside, but also I made it out of an Amazon package. Um, and that's the spine. I believe it's four inches. <laughs> maybe, yeah, probably four. That's maybe four and a quarter. Four inches. And then the fabric I used, it's a, like a Mad Hatter. I forgot the name of it. I think it's called mad about you tea party or something like that but it's really cute it's got you know the bunny the right uh, white rabbit and mushrooms and just the colors are great for this wonderful colorful imagination junk journal um there's the side like i said it's a massive journal i've got i don't even think it'll fit in a frame but um go through go through it i'll probably speed up some of the process because like i said it's full and a lot five signatures and they're all um elastic bound um spine so i'll get to that i'll show you that in a minute here's the front i've got a lace pocket I, um the uh, machine stitched on and the cover again like it's got interfacing and there's muslin in there also um that i and i stitched around and i left the the edge kind of raw and then there's an eyelet closure with the sari silk um, for a tie and inside the pocket I've got altered playing cards on a um, clip with a little doily flower and then an envelope with surprise inside for the owner and then here's a charm here Book page. Um, this is a vintage book page from the um, Through the Looking Glass. With a, uh, made, I just made it into a little pocket with a collage cluster there and tag with some fabric. Digitals and um, more vintage book paper I stenciled over. Here's some coffee stain paper that I color and ink myself and stamp and I um, did some texture paste images um, through a stencil on some of the pages also. And then the other side I've collaged some um, ephemera pieces and stenc um, some stencil there. There's a expandable pocket full of ephemera pieces and goodies. Another um, playing card. This page, it's got a, um, it's a, like a chipboard, or not chipboard, like maybe a balsa wood. Um, I guess it's a gate there. Um, Alice in a chipboard key 
and some cheesecloth and the texture grid in there. And then I've added the Disney version of Alice in Wonderland. I don't know if I can say Disney on here, but it is Disney. From the Little Golden Book, I should say that. So I've included those pages in the journal also. This is a like a tiered triangle pocket, I guess, or an altered tuxedo pocket, maybe. There's many different tuck spots. And that's the center of the signature, and this is the second signature. And here's the elastic. So it's elastic bound, so all these pages are removable. And then you can add pages also. The third signature. It's a little more grungy on this signature. I've added, I've layered this with muslin that I've dyed and inked um, and stamped. There's a chipboard piece and a charm also. Dummy, or the white rabbit. And then here, a clip with a notebook. Just random pieces of paper and it's secured with a brad so you're able to add and remove papers also as you use it. Some more of the vintage book page from the, um, the looking glass book. And then this center signature is pretty plain. I left the pages blank. I guess there's plenty of room to journal here. I did include my painted pages. Purple's amazing. Another collage. In the center of the signature here, I made a large pocket. Trim there. It's got a book page pocket inside. This is layered with tool and um, cardboard. I use metal brads, all sorts of textures and elements on that page. And it just ties up with the twine. And then I've got layered with vintage doily also. And some more collage with a beautiful fabric piece there. Vintage altered card. And the back pocket. Some paper I've stamped and inked to make it very look, look very grungy. That was a great that was a really fun and messy project. That's why my hands are still, they're inky. I'm experimenting with all different inks and techniques. It's a pocket, a window pocket, with a piece of coffee stained paper. I made it look into an envelope with the rose image on the front, which goes right inside. This is the third signature, and it has the rest of the Little Golden Book, Alice in Wonderland story pages in it. Some more paper with the texture paste. So even there is still plenty of writing throughout the journal also, not just that one signature. i got a belly band here with a um, chipboard piece layered with... Um, fabric and cheesecloth, and then the storybook page on the back, and then hearts also. A little pocket there with a little cluster.
this is a piece of vellum and vintage music sheet music um, paper is a tuxedo pocket also pocket there and this will flip up journaling space there I'll open pocket and open and there's a little journaling card here and then pocket with tags inside there's a large journaling card here And then I'll pocket the pocket watch, some fabric pieces, and then the white rabbit. And that is the ends. Thank you for watching this long video with me, this flip through. This journal was a lot of fun to make. I had so much fun collecting these items and making this large journal. Um, I do have um, a sale in the Etsy shop now uh, going on till the 2nd of January. Everything's 10% off and most items are free shipping. So um, definitely check out the shop. I have uh, links below for you. Um, I definitely appreciate all the subscribers, all the support. Um, I hope everybody has a great Christmas and Happy New Year. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.